it is Saturday afternoon 12th actually wait yes the car time has not been changed yet how many times haven't I done this it is 12 20 right now and I am heading to the grocery store just to pick up a few things I have my list just to make sure I get everything I need and I don't forget anything I hope you're all doing well friends thank you for being here um, the weather is, it looks like it's trying to clear up, but um, it's cloudy. Cloudy, it's 40, and just fix this a little bit. Um, cloudy, 40, and it's just chilly. We just want it. We just want spring weather. Um, I have been uh, cleaning the house. I dusted our living room, vacuum, cleaned around our uh, wood stove, wood stove area, and um, brought in some more wood because we have been using the wood stove even though it's spring, um, but the weather is not, um, doesn't feel like it. I feel like this phone is going to fall off the holder. Anyway, so uh, we're headed, heading to the grocery store, going to pick up a few things. I'm going now only because I want to pick up a rotisserie chicken. It just seems so much easier. Although I could have done that myself and I should have, but didn't think about it. Um, so I'm going to grab the few things we need and grab a rotisserie chicken. I already uh, prepared potatoes. I peeled them and cut them. I'm going to boil them and make potato salad to go along with our rotisserie chicken. And I want to see if I can saute some uh, kale with um, some collard greens. Or kale. Yeah, kale. Um, and with olive oil and seasoning, garlic, and make that a side dish to go with the chicken for me. I'm just craving that and I have I have so much laundry to do so I'm catching up on laundry I just started I do need to change the sheets on my bed it's so hard to try to clean the house um, while construction is going on I have not given you an update friends on the bathroom I have to do that um, I keep saying that I think the last two videos and I haven't given you the update so I will show you the uh, the bathroom the shower actually the shower looks um, definitely more um, definitely more than we anticipated as far as like material and just the cost I think but um, my husband's doing an amazing job we are so blessed that he is able to do that because I cannot imagine um, how much it would cost to have someone um, an expert come in and do it so oh my goodness this truck scared the heck out of me Whew. um so he's doing an amazing job i will show you uh tiles are going up and i feel bad not have <laughs> given you an update but i promise you i will at the end of this video um so i'm going to do um grab our stuff we're going to eat in the meantime well what I was saying is it's so hard to try to clean so what I'm doing is I'm not mopping floors and vacuuming the whole floors uh, because uh, he's up and down the stairs but there were areas like the living room needed a good vacuum the rug needed to be really um, vacuumed so I did that I dusted vacuumed the couches my dining area I did the same thing I cleaned everything up vacuumed the kitchen I again um, I vacuumed around there I know later I have to do it again but I cannot work in my kitchen when the floor is not vacuumed or swept and the counters are not clean so um, but that's what's going on we will be um, doing things at home I am cooking dinner later and then tomorrow I'll have you spend a lot of time with me in the kitchen because it's the weekend we take care of our home that's what you know that's what I love to do and then prep for the week ahead but it just feels if it just feels 
my heart with joy when I'm able to look around my home and that things are done and I'm not getting the things that all the things that I want because I'm not feeling a hundred percent so I'm taking my time doing things but I just cannot sit and not do anything I feel fine but not a hundred percent you know just a little bit nauseous hot flashes are insane on and off I just don't my body does not know what it wants so but and um, that's what's going on I would love 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 to go outside and start working on the yard but I will also show you what my seedling, seedlings look like oh, so happy they are looking a lot has germinated and they're looking amazing um, so I think I need to plant now a few more I think it's time to plant a few different ones so I got to look into that um, let me know friends if I don't know why I did that let me know friends uh, are you um, a gardener do you garden do you love being outside I know a few of you um, do love um, homemaking and gardening and um, and if you're not and that's fine too um, this is such a scary um, four-way stop sign because not everyone stops at the time they're supposed to so I take my time um, so let me know um, if you just like to watch other people because there are things that I like watching that other people do that I don't do uh, but I enjoy it but if you are a gardener how are your seedlings doing doing do you start your seeds indoor or do you just do it straight outside and um, oh the other thing this is like a long intro but we're catching up a little bit um, we had an earthquake yesterday here don't know um, what is going on but there was a 4.7 earthquake and even though we're we're very very lucky and blessed that um, it wasn't like bad like some other areas but we were at work and my son I'm about half an hour away from home where I work and then my son texted me and said um, are you guys shaking there and I said no he goes well it is here and I said oh my goodness that's an earthquake um, I grew up the I came from Portugal, one of the islands in Portugal, um, St. Michael, and I um, grew up always uh, with uh, earthquakes happening because of the volcanoes, and so not used to it, but aware of, you know, when it happens, I guess, if that makes sense. So it's very, very scary. is I'm at a red light um, what I'm planning to cook oh my goodness what I'm planning to cook is the chicken meatballs um, recipe I'm making that later and I'm doubling the sauce with a pasta because friends you can just eat that and it's a meal just the pasta pasta and the sauce so I'm making that and then tomorrow I plan to make lasagna and a pot of soup and I'm cooking extra tomorrow because um, the beginning of next week it, or at least the first three days of next week are going to be extremely busy for me with work so I want to make sure I have like the meals planned out um, so if I cook extra tomorrow that means um, Sunday uh, Monday we have leftovers and then um, going into Tuesday there'll be some in the fridge possibly like from today so I'll have Monday and Tuesday covered um, so that's the plan so we're going to be cooking and of course I have my starters going and it's the light is going to turn green so let's go to the grocery store <music>
Monday morning and not much of recording happened yesterday and my battery is flashing. We are going to get quite a few things done today. Yesterday was just not my day. It was just a day I wasn't feeling myself so I didn't force it. We are ready to start a brand new day. I'm just down here. I need a can of chickpeas but I'm taking it off the package and somewhat trying to keep this area organized until I have time to really organize everything. This is our downstairs pantry where I keep canned goods and pasta and things like that, but it has so much of house things that I really don't need. Um, but one day I'll have time to declutter and get um, this in order but for now this is what we're working with I am heading to the kitchen and starting I had to the camera died I had to change from the sweatshirt because it is just wait I was feeling way too hot so I have quite a bit to get done I'm going to tackle putting dishes away um, there's only a few cups in the sink. Unload the dishwasher and get to baking and, oh, are we focusing? Baking, why is this not focusing? Baking and cooking and it's a quarter of 10. I want to have lunch done nice and early. Everything done, my apologies. My husband's already in the bathroom getting the shower. Um, getting the shower going all right let me put you on a tripod and let's get some things done together no makeup on today today i'm giving my skin a break so we are very plain and natural today all right it is time I will feel so good starting this cooking and I have a bread in the oven, not in the oven, in the fridge to put in the oven. I, th I don't think I'm comfortable, but I think we're going to do this. Here we go. Much better now, I'm ready. cook lunch I am going to actually make homemade fries and what I do is I let me just do this this is dirty and what I do is um, I put in the fridge and then during the week we can have that with an egg or two scrambled and we have um, a delicious like side to go along with breakfast so once the dishes are done I'm going to wash up the little potatoes. I bought a bag of them and I have bacon, um, the bacon fat saved and that's what I use. I'll show you what I use for the um, homemade fries. And, oh, it's so delicious. I could eat just a little bowl of that. I love potatoes. Potatoes and sweets are my weakness. It's just, I could live on that, but we all know I can't, right?
you may wonder why I have different color um, plates. There's a history to it. So I want to transition to these, this print right here, like this um, blue and white. One day I just want all my dishes to be this print. But uh, at one point I had bought a pink set a couple of years ago. Um, and then we had blue plates from like raising the kids and different bowls. Uh, you might hear the, my husband's cutting tile. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, so with that being said, there are bowls that are different colors. Um, my kids don't want me to throw it away. Let's just wait. In my home, if you're new here, um, we are not Pinterest and Instagram worthy. Uh, I don't, um, I, that's just not me. I, I don't think I will ever be. I, I like the real, not to say some are not real, they're just like beautiful, but I am like me, <laughs> mix of things and um, I don't know. If you've been here long enough, you know what I mean. So some of the bowls, they love those those bowls and they ask not to throw it away or do, donate it because it just reminds them of their childhood. So I hold on to those things and then one day if we still have them, they can take it with them. But that's the reason why I have different colors of plates and bowls and I'm totally fine with that. Let me give you an update on my starters. Here's the three of them. Let me just see if I can. Here we go. So this was my original one and I was afraid I had ruined it. Um, and this one is a, um, a newer one that I started and then you can see that they all doubled in size which makes me very happy. So I will get a few loaves of bread. Um, in the fridge and then I believe maybe tomorrow morning if I have time I have to get to work very early tomorrow if I have time I will bake it and just bring it to work um, but I'm very happy and hopefully um, I hopefully it's okay because I don't know much about starters but this is all new to me but this one was um, a very strong one and they actually would um, rise and leak over the jar which that is always such a happy feeling but I think by not following the measurements on Friday night because I was so tired and um, I think I ruined it and I don't know but these are the beauties and they look amazing especially this one has a lot of um, bubbles you can see can you see the bubbles I don't know if you can see it but I mean you might not be able to see it because it's not um, so let me just kind of zoom out and maybe you'll be able to see it I think you can see all the bubbles so this is a good sign but I love the smell of sourdough anyone with me yesterday when I made the chicken meatball recipe I cooked extra pasta on purpose because I'm going to make pasta salad for the week I will be adding chickpeas and corn. Um, I will have to go in the freezer and get the corn uh, that I um, preserved last year. So, but I will add this with onion seasoning, olive oil, vinegar, and this will be a nice um, lunch. I won't need to add any meat because we have the chickpeas. And I think it's uh, having this in the free fridge will be perfect to take to lunch uh, for work.
potatoes are cooking and the oven is um, preheating I'm going to get laundry going I have been working on laundry um, let me get clothes out of the dryer clothes in the dryer and I'm going to freshen up um, sheets so I can swap and put in um, fresh sheets on our bed okay I don't think I am the only one um, I'm curious to see or to find out if you are the same or do you have any tips on how to keep sheets fresh for the next use I keep them in a drawer and I feel like every time I go take them out of the drawer they just don't smell fresh any longer and I don't know I mean they smell clean but just not that fresh clean scent that we want to put on the bed um, so I'm going to I wash them before I put them in, in a drawer and then I wash them before I put them on the bed uh, anyone with me uh, two co-workers of mine um, they were talking and I totally was like so glad I'm not the only one but here friends let me know um, if you have any tips or does this happen to you what I was looking for, the bacon. Um, grease, fat, I save it and I'll show you how, to, how I make my homemade fries.
the video from the weekend and my brain is fried. And I want to give you an update on um, the shower, like I said. And so let's do that. If, um, if you've been here um, for a little while now, you will see a few videos back. I showed uh, why we're renovating this bathroom. And, uh, but I'll put the video in the description box and I'll try to remember to link it up here. And um, so you can just watch it and see what it was before to how it's looking now. Um, huge improvement. I haven't been great at updating you, but let me show you. Okay, so you remember, mind you, it's still under construction. This was all rotted and we even had uh, some mold around it and but this is what it looks like the floor is done i'm going to turn on the light okay um the floor oh the fan's gonna go on um the floor is done but it's just covered not completely um i think it still needs the grout no i think it has the grout yes it does but it's covered because my husband's still working in here but this is the look of the tile and we couldn't be happier it just looks amazing and he did do new fan new lighting um new ceiling it's going to he's still working on it and let me go in here and if you remember this was right here so the shower would was here and then we have two shower heads in this shower and um, that one was over here so we moved it here so if, when you um, face the shower you have one on this side and then on this side versus being there and there um, and then he is not finished yet but this is what the floor looks like of the shower um, so we decided to put these shelves here and he put the little he's not done this is not done but I just love how everything is coming out I we are so much um, full of joy just happy at how um, with the look that we went it's exactly what we were looking for um, same here so there's two, a side here where we can put uh, we have plenty of shelving so I think it's and then he put a little shelf here so I can just um, be able to shave my legs. So very, very grateful and so happy at how it's coming out. It's taken a little longer uh, because my husband works and he worked Saturday all day doing here in the bathroom and then Sunday, but I cannot wait until this is all done because this is what the bathroom looks like um, all around. It's going to be, it's going to take a while before the whole bathroom is done. Of course, this is what it looks like right now. The tub has all of this in, but um, yeah, this is what the bathroom looks like and it'll be all different. We will be, um, everything's going to be different, but the shower was first because it was a necessity. But here's an update friends on the shower. Thank you so much friends for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you consider subscribing. More homemaking videos and um, of more renovation coming your way. Um, as far as renovation, I'm not that great at updating, but you got to see a little bit at how, um, how the bathroom is coming along. Again, thank you so much for being here, friends. I adore you. I will see you on my next video. Bye, friends.